Welcome class, I am your teacher, Maite Gutierrez, and today we will be learning about stellar sea lions. Ooh. To begin with, stellar sea lions are reddish brown and their head is shaped like a bear's face. Unlike the California sea lion, their saturnal crest on top of their head is not shown. What's a sagittal crest? Well, Tommy, if you were listening, you would know that a sagittal crest is not on top of a stellar sea lion's head, but is on top of a California sea lion's head. Oh! <sighs> now, where was I? Oh, yes. Adult male stellar sea lions have a thick furry neck that almost looks like a lion's mane. Oh. Now, stellar sea lions... Do girl sea lions have a lion's mane? No, sweetie, it's not a lion's... No, girl sea lions don't have a lion's mane. Oh. Now, stellar sea lions... I have a question. Yes? What do sea lions eat? Actually, that's a great question. Uh, wait, who are you? Um, well, anyways, stellar sea lions are carnivores who eat fish like octa mackerel, pollock wally, Pacific cod, and Pacific salmon. Are you sure those are real types of fish? They sound really weird and fake. Yes, Tommy, I know those are real types of fish. It is my profession to know what types of sea animals in the ocean are called. Well, I mean, if you say so. Anyways, stellar sea lions also eat squid and other animals, including pups. No, why would they eat cute little puppies? No, no, no. They're not dogs. They're sea lions. Dogs? Sea lions. Oh. Now, who wants to know where they live? Anyone? Well, I'm gonna say it anyway. Stellar sea lions live in the dark, cold waters of the Pacific Ocean, Japan, California, and... Miss mm -hmm. Gutierrez, uh, what are the predators of the beautiful sea creatures you call ste... ste... stellar sea lion? No, no, that's not it. Well, anyways, even though they are very, very big animals, they have predators. They are the killer whale and the great white. But what monster would ever want to eat something as cute as pups? We do. <gasps> surprise, surprise. I know. Sadly, it's true. We are actually their biggest predator. Well, how are they able to defend themselves? Well, here's the thing, kid I don't remember. Because stellar sea lions live their lives mostly underwater, scientists, like me, don't know much about their behaviors of what they do to defend themselves from predators. But we do know that stellar sea lions use lots of sounds to call each other so, if one of them is in danger, they can call someone to help. Teacher, what are we doing to hurt them? Well, sometimes they get hit by our boats and even get caught in our fish nets, which could terribly injure them. They also are being hunted by us, by poachers. But the thing that we do most to kill them is by pollution and not throwing away our trash. Calm 
down. I'm sure there's lots of things we're doing to help them. Actually, Tommy, you were incorrect. Again. Yes, we rescue abandoned pups and we try to protect them from poachers, but it's not enough. I mean, we could adopt the sea lion or we could even stop fishing boats from hunting and fishing where they live. Which is why I think we're not doing enough to save these wonderful animals. How many stellar sea lions are left in the world? Well, last time I checked, there were only about 100,000 of them left. That's a lot of sea lions, no? Well, no, it's not. Well, class, I guess it's time to say goodbye. No! You know what? I'm going to start doing everything I can to save stellar sea lions. Me too! Well, I already am. Aw, thanks guys. Now, shoo shoo. Bye! Bye bye! Seriously, who are you? <laughs>